hello my dear students myself mr rohit suresh damre i am working as an assistant teacher in sundarbai marathi vidyalay karadi pune 14 today we are going to study about the standard 9 subject science and technology so from the standard 9 the first chapter in science and technology that is laws of motion in this chapter we are going to learn about the different concepts like motion distance and displacement acceleration newton's laws of motion and its related equation the first topic from this chapter that is motion of an object just consider whenever you are traveling in a bus you see outside the bus all the objects they are going behind in behind direction or in backward direction but is the person sitting next to you in motion no that person is not in motion but whenever you see outside the bus all the objects they are going in the backward direction so from that how will you consider what is motion motion is whenever an object is changing its position with respect to its surroundings so the motion of an object is nothing but if the position of object is changing with respect to its surroundings then that object is said to be in motion the next topic that is distance what is distance distance is nothing but the actual the length of actual path traveled by an object in motion while going from one point to another point let's see with some examples so when an object just consider an object is traveling from or starting its journey from point a he covers near about a distance uh, length of 3 km and it reaches to the point b from b it again covers a length of near about 4 km and reaches up to point c so the what is distance distance is nothing but the actual path traveled by an object that is in this case object covers uh, started its journey from point a and cover, uh, goes to the point b covering distance of 3 km from b to point c covering distance of 4 km so totally totally distance a covered by an object is 7 km the next okay. concept that is displacement what is displacement displacement is nothing but the minimum distance between the starting and finishing point again let's consider the concept of displacement with the similar example when that object is covering a distance of totally 7 km traveling from point a to b and b to c the distance covered by that object is 7 km but what is displacement displacement is the minimum distance from its starting point to the finishing point so the displacement takes place in that object is 5 km only okay on this topic you will have a question in your exams that is differentiate between distance and displacement so what is distance it is the length of actual path followed by body between two points what is displacement it is the shortest distance from initial point to final point of the movement of body the second point of differentiation that is distance does not have direction while displacement has direction So these are the two points of differentiation between distance and movement. Next concept that is speed. 
what is speed speed is nothing but the total distance traveled by an object in a required time period velocity velocity is the dis distance traveled in a particular direction by an object in unit time is called its velocity so the formula of velocity becomes velocity is equals to displacement upon time again you will have another question in maybe in your exam that is speed and differentiate between speed and velocity so what are the points points of differentiation between speed and velocity so in case of speed speed is the distance covered in per unit time velocity is the displacement per unit time speed does not have direction again velocity it has direction these are the two points of differentiation between speed and velocity our next point is uniform and non uniform linear motion so you may have seen uh, on your screen there is a chart which indicates four columns the first column that is time in the clock distance uh, second column distance covered by amar in kilometers third column distance covered by akbar in kilometers fourth column distance covered by anthony in kilometers okay so let's consider this chart so the first in the first column that is time in the clock so you can see that there is a time interval between the uh, time in the clock is 30 minutes that is 5 5:30 6 6:30 7 7:30 7, 7, 7, 8 let's consider the distance covered by amar akbar and anthony amar akbar and anthony they have started their journey at 5 o'clock after 30 minutes amar covered a distance of 20 kilometers akbar covered 18 kilometers anthony covered 14 kilometers again after 30 minutes at 6 o'clock amar covered distance of 40 kilometers akbar covered distance of 36 kilometers anthony covered distance of 28 kilometers again in the next 30 minutes amar covered distance of 60 km akbar covered distance of 42 km anthony covered distance of 42 km at 7 o'clock that is after 30 minutes amar covered distance of 80 km akbar covered distance of 70 km and anthony covered 56 km again after 30 minutes that is at 7:30 amar covered a distance of 100 km akbar covered 95 km anthony covered 70 km at the final that is at 8 o'clock amar covered a distance of 120 km akbar covered 120 km and anthony also covered anthony covered 84 km so what will you conclude from this chart the time period that is Uh, 5 5:30 6 6:30 7 7:30 and 8 so the time the duration of the time that is same for all of them that is amar akbar and anthony let's see about amar amar covered up, uh, at 5 to 5:30 amar covered 20 km next in next 30 minutes he again covered 20 km from 6 to 6:30 he again covered 60 km from 6:30 to 7 he again covered 20 km from 7 to 7:30 again he covered 20 km and finally reached 120 km at 8 o'clock so in case of amar he covered equal distances in equal time periods at each 30 minutes amar covered a distance of 20 km what about akbar let's see at 5 0 km after 30 minutes that is at 5 30 he covered 18 km again after 30 minutes he covered 36 km that is in next 
30 minutes he covered 18 km in next 13 mi uh, 13 minutes he covered a distance of only 6 km in next 30 minutes he covered distance of 28 km next 30 minutes 25 km and finally after 30 minutes he covered a distance of 25 km in case of anthony again you can see that see that anthony covered a equal distance in equal time interval but in case of akbar he covered unequal distances in equal time interval so from that we, we can say that that is linear motion, linear motion two time and non uniform linear motion uniform linear motion or uniform speed is nothing but if an object covers equal distances in equal time intervals it is said to be moving with uniform speed or the motion of the object is said to be uniform motion when an object covers unequal distances in equal time intervals it is said to be moving with non-uniform speed or thus motion of the object is said to be non-uniform linear motion the next topic that is acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is nothing but the rate of change of velocity the formula of acceleration is acceleration is equals to change in velocity upon time that is change in velocity means the final velocity minus initial velocity acceleration is equals to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time that is a is equals to v minus u upon time that is t a is equals to v minus u upon t if the velocity of an object changes during a certain period then it is said to have accelerated motion now this accelerated motion is again of two types that is uniform acceleration and non-uniform acceleration let's learn about uniform and non-uniform acceleration what is uniform acceleration if the velocity changes by equal amounts in equal time intervals the object is said to be in uniform acceleration whenever an object velocity of the object changes by equal amount in equal time interval then that acceleration is said to be uniform acceleration if the velocity changes by unequal amounts in equal time intervals the object is said to be in non-uniform acceleration then you again you may have a question in your exam that is write down the positive negative and zero acceleration what is positive acceleration negative acceleration and zero acceleration when the velocity of object increases the acceleration is said to be positive that is whenever there is an increase in the velocity of object with respect to the time then that acceleration is always positive acceleration what about negative acceleration when the velocity of the object decreases with time then that acceleration is said to be negative acceleration that is whenever there is a decrease in velocity of the object with respect to the time then that acceleration is always negative acceleration and zero acceleration when the velocity of object does not change with time the acceleration is zero acceleration that is there is no change in velocity with respect to the time that acceleration is said to be negative acceleration. so that is all for the today if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much stay home stay safe